Hi everyone. Welcome to Short Reads. Today I'll be covering the book The Alchemist which is written by Paulo Coelho, who is a Brazilian author known for his philosophical and spiritual themes in his writings. His most famous work, The Alchemist, which has been translated into 80 languages, has sold over 65 million copies worldwide. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also mention any book in the comments if you want us to cover and summarize it. We always love our community. Now, let us start discovering the book. Chapter 1. The Boy's Dream. The novel begins with the introduction of the protagonist, Santiago, a young shepherd boy who has been shepherding sheep all his life. He has a recurring dream that he cannot understand, in which he is standing at the base of a pyramid, and a child appears and tells him that there is a treasure buried beneath it. However, before he can reach the treasure, he is always awakened. One day, Santiago decides to seek out a gypsy woman who claims she can interpret dreams. She tells him that his dream is a prophecy and that the treasure he seeks is real and waiting for him to find it. She also tells him that he must travel to the pyramids in Egypt to find it. Santiago is initially skeptical but becomes increasingly curious as the gypsy woman's words echo in his mind. He realizes that he wants to pursue his dream and find a treasure, but he is hesitant to leave his comfortable life as a shepherd behind. However, the more Santiago thinks about his dream, the more he feels a pull towards his destiny. He begins to see his life as a shepherd as limiting and unfulfilling, and he yearns for something more. He becomes determined to pursue his dream, even though he is unsure of what he will find or where his journey will take him. In this chapter, we also see Santiago's connection to nature as he observes a hawk flying overhead and reflects on the simplicity of the shepherd's life. He is content with his current situation, but he also feels a restlessness within him that he cannot ignore. Overall, Chapter 1 sets the stage for the rest of the novel by introducing Santiago's dream and the idea of following one's personal legend or destiny. It establishes Santiago's character as someone who is open to adventure and willing to take risks in pursuit of his goals. It also establishes the theme of the interconnectedness of nature and the universe, as seen in Santiago's connection to the hawk and the gypsy woman's interpretation of his dream as a prophecy. Chapter 2. The Gypsy. In Chapter 2, Santiago decides to sell his flock of sheep and pursue his dream of finding the treasure. He visits a local merchant in town who buys his sheep, and with the money he receives, he sets out on his journey. As he travels, he reflects on his decision to pursue his dream and leave behind his old life. He feels a sense of both excitement and fear, as he is unsure of what he will find or where his journey will take him. He also thinks about the gypsy woman's words and wonders if he will truly find the treasure he seeks. On his first night of travel, Santiago sleeps under the stars and has a dream about a ruined church with a sycamore tree growing out of the sacristy. In the dream, he is told that if he goes to the church, he will find a hidden treasure. Santiago wakes up feeling confused but decides to follow the dream's guidance and seek out the church. He arrives in the small town where the church is located and asks around for information about it. He eventually meets an old man who tells him the story of the church in the sycamore tree. The old man also encourages Santiago to pursue his dream and tells him that everyone has a personal legend or destiny that they must follow. Santiago is struck by the old man's words and begins to see his journey in a new light. He realizes that he is not alone in his pursuit of a dream and that others have also followed their own personal legends. He also recognizes that he must have faith in the universe and trust that his journey will lead him to his treasure. As he continues on his journey, Santiago meets a crystal merchant who offers him a job in his shop. The merchant has been in the same place for 30 years, and Santiago wonders if he is also stuck in his current situation, unwilling to pursue his personal legend. Despite the merchant's offer, Santiago decides to continue on his journey and pursue his dream. He realizes that the journey itself is just as important as the treasure he seeks, and that he must have the courage to face his fears and pursue his destiny. Overall, Chapter 2 explores the themes of following one's personal legend, the importance of faith and courage in pursuing one's dreams, and the idea that everyone has a destiny to fulfill. It also introduces Santiago to the concept of mentorship, as he learns from the old man and the crystal merchant about the different paths one can take in life. Chapter 3. The King. In Chapter 3, Santiago arrives in Tangier, Morocco, and realizes that he is in a new and unfamiliar place. He struggles to communicate with the locals and is taken advantage of by a thief who steals his money. Santiago is devastated by the loss of his funds, but he refuses to let it stop him from pursuing his dream. 
He wanders the streets, searching for work and a way to earn money to continue his journey. He eventually meets a man who offers to help him find work at a nearby crystal shop. Santiago is grateful for the opportunity and begins working at the shop, learning the trade and making new friends. Despite his new life in Tangier, Santiago cannot shake the feeling that he is not where he is meant to be. He reflects on his dream and realizes that he must continue his journey and search for his treasure. He also thinks about the old man he met earlier in his journey and wonders if he will ever see him again. Santiago begins to learn Arabic and makes new connections in the city. He also meets a woman named Fatima and becomes attracted to her. However, he realizes that his pursuit of his dream is more important than his love for her, and he resolves to continue on his journey. One day, Santiago has a conversation with the shop owner about his dream and his desire to pursue it. The shop owner tells him that he once had a similar dream but never pursued it, and that he now regrets not taking the chance. He encourages Santiago to continue on his journey and reminds him that it is never too late to follow one's dreams. Santiago takes the shop owner's words to heart and decides to leave Tangier and continue his journey to the pyramids. He bids farewell to his friends and sets out on the next leg of his journey, uncertain of what he will find but determined to see it through. Overall, Chapter 3 explores the theme of perseverance in the face of obstacles and the importance of following one's dreams despite challenges. It also introduces Santiago to new characters and experiences in Tangier and emphasizes the interconnectedness of people and their paths in life. The chapter highlights the idea that one's journey is not always straightforward and that unexpected twists and turns can often lead to important lessons and discoveries. Chapter 4. The Shepherd. In Chapter 4, Santiago sets out on the next stage of his journey, traveling across the Sahara Desert with a caravan of merchants. He is excited to be on the move again and to experience a new part of the world. During the journey, Santiago reflects on the lessons he has learned so far and continues to think about his personal legend and his pursuit of the treasure. He also begins to connect with the other travelers in the caravan, learning from them and sharing his own experiences. As they travel deeper into the desert, the caravan faces a number of challenges and obstacles, including the threat of attack by bandits and the harsh conditions of the desert. Santiago learns to adapt to these challenges and to rely on his intuition and instincts to guide him. One night, Santiago has a conversation with the alchemist who is traveling with the caravan. The alchemist tells him about his own journey and the lessons he has learned about the nature of the universe. He explains that everything in the world is interconnected and that the universe has a way of helping those who are pursuing their personal legends. The alchemist also tells Santiago about the concept of the soul of the world, which is a spiritual force that connects all living things and has the power to guide people towards their destinies. Santiago is fascinated by these ideas and begins to see the world in a new light. As they approach the end of their journey across the desert, the caravan stops at an oasis where they can rest and replenish their supplies. Santiago meets a young woman named Fatima, who he recognizes as the woman he saw in his dream. They begin to get to know each other, and Santiago is drawn to her, but he also realizes that his quest for the treasure is still his primary focus. Santiago meets with the alchemist again, and the two of them discuss the importance of listening to one's heart and following one's intuition. The alchemist tells Santiago that he must learn to communicate with the soul of the world and to trust in its guidance. As the caravan prepares to leave the oasis, Santiago realizes that he has fallen in love with Fatima, but that he must continue on his journey. He tells her about his dream and his desire to pursue his personal legend, and she encourages him to follow his heart and to trust in the universe to guide him. Overall, Chapter 4 explores the themes of intuition, interconnectedness, and the power of the universe to guide people towards their destinies. It introduces Santiago to the alchemist and the concept of the soul of the world, and highlights the importance of following one's heart and pursuing one's dreams, even in the face of love and other distractions. The chapter also emphasizes the idea that every person's journey is unique and that the pursuit of one's personal legend is a deeply personal and transformative experience. Chapter 5. The Englishman. In Chapter 5, Santiago arrives at the al fayum oasis in Egypt, where he hopes to find the treasure that he has been seeking. He is excited to be close to his goal, but also nervous about what he might find. Santiago decides to stay in the oasis for a while and begins to explore the area. He meets a number of people, including a crystal merchant who is struggling to keep his business afloat. The merchant tells Santiago about his own dreams and how he has given up on them in order to pursue a more practical path. 
Santiago also meets an Englishman who is searching for the alchemist that Santiago met on his journey across the desert. The Englishman is interested in learning the secrets of alchemy and believes that the alchemist can teach him what he needs to know. Santiago is fascinated by the Englishman's pursuit of knowledge and decides to help him find the alchemist. They begin to search the oasis and eventually come across a man who claims to be the alchemist. The alchemist agrees to teach the Englishman and Santiago about alchemy and the secrets of the universe. He tells them that the most important lesson of alchemy is to follow one's heart and to listen to the soul of the world. As they begin their lessons, Santiago learns more about the power of transformation and the importance of overcoming one's fears. He also learns about the concept of the philosopher's stone, which is a symbol of transformation and spiritual enlightenment. Santiago continues to search for the treasure that he has been seeking, but he begins to realize that the journey itself is more important than the destination. He reflects on the lessons he has learned and the people he has met along the way, and realizes that they have all helped him to grow and to become the person he is today. The chapter ends with Santiago continuing his lessons with the alchemist and preparing for the next stage of his journey. He is excited to see what the future holds and to continue pursuing his personal legend. Overall, Chapter 5 explores the themes of transformation, the pursuit of knowledge, and the importance of following one's heart. It introduces Santiago to the Englishman and the alchemist and highlights the power of alchemy to transform one's life and perspective. The chapter also emphasizes the idea that the journey itself is more important than the destination and that every experience and encounter can be a valuable lesson on the path to fulfilling one's personal legend. Chapter 6. The Alchemist. The chapter begins with Santiago beginning to work for the crystal merchant he met in the Alfeum Oasis. The merchant offers him a job in his shop, and Santiago agrees to stay and work for him for a while. Santiago quickly learns the ropes of the crystal business and begins to make some suggestions to the merchant on how to improve his sales. He suggests that they create a more attractive display and offer a wider variety of crystals to their customers. The merchant is initially hesitant to change his ways, but Santiago convinces him to give it a try. They make the changes to the shop, and customers begin to take notice. Sales increase, and the merchant is grateful for Santiago's help. As Santiago works in the shop, he reflects on his own journey and his pursuit of his personal legend. He wonders if he should continue on his journey or if he should stay and continue to work for the merchant. He feels torn between his desire for adventure and his obligation to the merchant. One day, the merchant notices that Santiago is feeling down and asks him what is wrong. Santiago tells him about his dilemma and the merchant offers him some advice. He tells Santiago that he should continue on his journey and pursue his personal legend, even if it means leaving the shop behind. The merchant also shares his own regrets about not following his dreams and encourages Santiago not to make the same mistake. Santiago realizes that the merchant is wise and takes his advice to heart. Santiago decides to leave the crystal shop and continue on his journey. He feels grateful for the lessons he learned while working for the merchant and knows that they will serve him well on his quest for treasure. Before he leaves, Santiago gives the merchant some gold to help him expand his business and promises to return someday to see how he is doing. The merchant is touched by Santiago's generosity and wishes him well on his journey. Overall, Chapter 6 explores the themes of loyalty, following one's dreams, and the importance of taking risks. Santiago faces a difficult decision between his desire for adventure and his obligation to the merchant, but ultimately decides to follow his heart and continue on his journey. The chapter also highlights the idea that even the most unexpected encounters and experiences can provide valuable lessons and insights on the path to fulfilling one's personal legend. Chapter 7. The Caravan. In this chapter, Santiago arrives at an oasis in the desert and meets an Englishman who is searching for an alchemist. The Englishman is a well-educated man who is interested in alchemy and is on a journey to find an alchemist who can teach him the secrets of the philosopher's stone. The Englishman is impressed by Santiago's ability to speak Arabic and asks him to serve as his interpreter on his journey. Santiago agrees, and they set out to search for the alchemist together. As they travel through the desert, the Englishman shares his knowledge of alchemy with Santiago. He tells him that alchemy is the study of transformation and that the ultimate goal is to turn lead into gold. He also tells Santiago about the Philosopher's Stone, which is believed to have the power to transform any metal into gold. Santiago is fascinated by the Englishman's teachings and begins to see the world in a different way. He realizes that everything in the universe is connected and that there is a hidden language that can be used to communicate with the world around him. 
As they continue on their journey, they come across a group of people who are conducting an experiment in alchemy. The Englishman is thrilled to meet them and begins to ask them questions about their work. However, Santiago is skeptical of their methods and decides to continue on his journey. The next day, they encounter a tribal chieftain who invites them to stay at his oasis. While they are there, the chieftain tells them a story about a wise man who once visited the oasis. The wise man taught the people of the oasis about the language of the desert and how to understand the signs that the world gives them. The Englishman is intrigued by the story and asks the chieftain to introduce him to the wise man. However, the chieftain warns him that the wise man is dangerous and that many people have died trying to find him. Despite the warning, the Englishman insists on continuing his search for the alchemist. He decides to stay at the oasis and study the language of the desert while Santiago continues on his journey. As Santiago travels alone through the desert, he reflects on the lessons he has learned on his journey so far. He realizes that the universe is constantly trying to communicate with him and that he must learn to listen to the signs and follow his intuition if he wants to achieve his personal legend. Chapter 7 explores the themes of transformation, language, and intuition. Santiago learns about the principles of alchemy from the Englishman and begins to see the world in a new way. He also learns about the language of the desert and the importance of paying attention to the signs that the universe gives him. The chapter also highlights the idea that following one's personal legend requires courage, intuition, and a willingness to take risks, even in the face of danger. Chapter 8. The Desert. In this chapter, Santiago arrives at a military camp and is taken prisoner by a group of tribal warriors. He is brought before the tribal chief, who questions him about his purpose in the desert. The tribal chief is impressed by Santiago's ability to communicate with the desert and he decides to spare his life. However, he also orders Santiago to work for him as a crystal merchant. Santiago is initially disappointed with this turn of events as he had been hoping to continue his journey to find the alchemist. However, he decides to make the best of his situation and begins to work for the crystal merchant. The crystal merchant is an older man who has been selling crystal in the desert for many years. He is set in his ways and is resistant to change, but Santiago's arrival brings new energy and enthusiasm to his business. Santiago learns a great deal about the art of selling crystal from the merchant. He learns how to display the crystal in an attractive way, how to negotiate prices with customers, and how to build relationships with repeat customers. As Santiago becomes more successful in his work, he begins to wonder why the crystal merchant does not expand his business and travel to other markets. He suggests that the merchant could make more money and experience new things if he were to travel to other countries and sell his crystal there. The merchant initially dismisses Santiago's ideas, but he begins to think about them more seriously as Santiago's success continues. Eventually, he decides to take Santiago's advice and travel to other markets to sell his crystal. Santiago is pleased that he has been able to help the merchant, but he also realizes that he is ready to continue his own journey. He has saved enough money from his work with the merchant to continue his travels, and he sets out once again to find the alchemist. Chapter 8 explores the themes of work, commerce, and the importance of taking risks. Santiago finds himself working for the crystal merchant, who teaches him valuable lessons about the art of selling and building relationships with customers. He also learns about the importance of taking risks in order to achieve success and fulfillment in life. The chapter highlights the idea that sometimes the most unexpected opportunities can lead to great personal growth and success, and that it is important to be open to new experiences and ideas. Ultimately, Santiago realizes that he must continue his journey in order to fulfill his personal legend, and he sets out once again on his quest to find the alchemist. Chapter 9. The Alchemist, Part 2. In Chapter 9, Santiago finally reaches the oasis where he hopes to find the alchemist. The oasis is a beautiful place, with clear water and palm trees, and it is inhabited by a large community of people. Santiago is welcomed by the oasis community, and he begins to work in the fields to earn his keep. He also meets a young woman named Fatima, who works in the oasis and who captures his heart. Santiago spends much of his time at the oasis waiting for the alchemist to arrive. He hears stories about the alchemist from the people in the community, and he begins to believe that the alchemist is a powerful and mystical figure who can help him achieve his personal legend. One day, Santiago meets an old man who introduces himself as the alchemist. The alchemist is dressed in simple clothes, and Santiago is surprised that he does not look like a mystical figure. 
The alchemist tells Santiago that he is on a similar journey and that he has been sent to help Santiago achieve his personal legend. He tells Santiago that he must continue his journey to the pyramids in Egypt, where he will find a treasure that will help him achieve his goals. The alchemist agrees to accompany Santiago on his journey to the pyramids, and Santiago is excited to have found a guide who can help him. However, the journey is not without its challenges. Along the way, Santiago and the alchemist are confronted by a group of thieves who try to steal their money. The alchemist uses his knowledge of alchemy to turn lead into gold, and he gives the gold to the thieves, who are amazed by his powers. Santiago and the alchemist also have to cross the desert, which is a difficult and dangerous journey. The alchemist teaches Santiago how to communicate with the desert, and he helps him to see the signs and omens that will guide him on his journey. As they travel, the alchemist teaches Santiago about the principles of alchemy. He explains that everything in the universe is made of the same basic elements, and that these elements can be transformed and combined in different ways to create new things. The alchemist also teaches Santiago about the importance of following his heart and listening to the language of the world. He tells Santiago that he must be willing to take risks and make sacrifices in order to achieve his personal legend. Finally, Santiago and the alchemist reach the pyramids. Santiago begins to dig in the spot where he believes the treasure is buried, but they are interrupted by a group of soldiers who arrest him for trespassing. The alchemist tells the soldiers that he is a powerful alchemist, and he offers to turn himself into the wind if they will release Santiago. The soldiers are amazed when the alchemist actually turns himself into the wind, and Santiago is freed. Santiago continues to dig for the treasure, but he is disappointed when he finds only a pile of rocks. The alchemist reminds him that the treasure was never the point of his journey, and that the true treasure was the knowledge and experiences he gained along the way. Chapter 9 explores the themes of love, trust, and the importance of following one's dreams. Santiago falls in love with Fatima, but he also knows that he must continue on his journey to achieve his personal legend. He finds a guide in the alchemist, who teaches him about the principles of alchemy and the importance of listening to the language of the world. The chapter highlights the idea that the journey itself is more important than the destination, and that the true treasure of life is the knowledge and experiences gained along the way. Chapter 10. The Ultimate Boon. After his adventures in the desert, Santiago has returned to the oasis and reunited with Fatima. He is content to stay there with her, but he knows that he must continue his journey to fulfill his personal legend. Santiago has a dream in which he sees the pyramids and hears a voice telling him that he will find the treasure there. He knows that this is a sign that he must return to the pyramids and continue his quest. The journey back to the pyramids is difficult, and Santiago faces many challenges along the way. However, he remembers the lessons he learned from the alchemist and uses his knowledge to overcome these obstacles. Santiago finally reaches the pyramids, and he begins to dig in the spot where he believes the treasure is buried. He is interrupted by a group of men who beat him and steal his money. Santiago is devastated that his journey has ended in failure. As he sits in despair, Santiago meets a man who tells him that he had a dream about a treasure buried beneath a sycamore tree in a distant land. The man offers to split the treasure with Santiago if he helps him find it. Santiago realizes that this is the treasure he has been seeking all along, and he is overjoyed to have found it. He returns to the oasis, where he is reunited with Fatima. He also uses his share of the treasure to help the people in the oasis and make their lives better. The chapter ends with Santiago realizing that he has achieved his personal legend and that the journey was the most important part of his quest. He is grateful for the lessons he learned and the experiences he had, and he knows that he will continue to follow his heart and seek his dreams. Chapter 10 highlights the idea that the journey is more important than the destination. Santiago faces many challenges and setbacks along the way, but he perseveres and uses his knowledge and skills to overcome them. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of following one's heart and listening to the language of the world. Santiago realizes that the treasure he was seeking was not material wealth, but rather the knowledge and experiences he gained on his journey. Chapter 11. Epilogue. This is the final chapter of the novel The Alchemist which brings Santiago's journey to a close and explores the idea that the universe conspires to help individuals achieve their personal legends. Santiago is now back at the monastery where he met the alchemist. He reflects on his journey and the lessons he learned along the way. He realizes that the universe conspired to help him achieve his personal legend and that he was always exactly where he needed to be to learn the lessons he needed to learn. The alchemist arrives at the monastery and Santiago tells him about his journey and the treasure he found. 
The alchemist is pleased with Santiago's success and tells him that he knew Santiago would find the treasure. The alchemist then shares with Santiago the idea that everything in the universe is connected and that the universe conspires to help individuals achieve their personal legends. He explains that when individuals set out to follow their dreams, the universe will help them and provide them with what they need. The alchemist also shares with Santiago the concept of the soul of the world, which is the force that connects all living things and allows them to communicate with each other. The alchemist tells Santiago that he has learned to communicate with the soul of the world and that he can teach Santiago to do the same. Santiago learns to communicate with the soul of the world and he is amazed at the insights and knowledge he gains from this communication. He realizes that he is part of something much larger than himself and that he has a role to play in the grand scheme of things. The chapter ends with Santiago saying goodbye to the alchemist and setting out on the final leg of his journey. He feels a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that he has achieved his personal legend and that he is part of the interconnected universe. Chapter 11 emphasizes the idea that the universe conspires to help individuals achieve their dreams. Santiago realizes that he was always exactly where he needed to be to learn the lessons he needed to learn and that the universe provided him with the people and resources he needed to achieve his personal legend. The concept of the soul of the world also highlights the interconnectedness of all things and the idea that individuals have a role to play in the grand scheme of things. In the end, Santiago feels a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that he has achieved his personal legend and that he is part of something much larger than himself.